Now, I'm sure you've all seen this, a ripe banana sitting in your fruit bowl. What do you use it for? Well, I'm gonna show you the perfect banana bread. I've already got my bananas in the bowl. I'm gonna mash them till they're beautiful and soft and velvety. The other wet ingredients I'm going to add is extra virgin olive oil, maple syrup, and a little bit of vanilla essence. Splash that in and mix this all up. I'm gonna pop this bowl aside and I'm gonna start on my dry ingredients. Now, if you want to have more fiber in your diet, use wholemeal flour, it's very, very simple. But if you want to add even more good nutrition into your banana bread, you could try using the BioGlan Protein Smoothie Powder. Now we know that protein's important it's in every cell in the body. It's slow releasing, it sustains our appetite, but it's the probiotic that I particularly like. We need those good bacteria in our gut. They help with the immune system, they help digest our food, and they even make us feel good. So pop a spoonful into the bowl. I'm gonna add a little bit of a pinch of salt, a bit of cinnamon, baking powder, and a little bit of bicarb. Mix this through, and then I'm gonna add my wet and dry ingredients together. Now, to make this banana bread even more delicious, I'm gonna chop some Australian macadamias, sprinkle them on top, and then I've already preheated my oven to 180 degrees, and I'm gonna pop it in for about 25 minutes, give or take. While my banana bread is cooking, I'm gonna make two spreads for the banana bread. So I'm gonna start with my honey, a shot of espresso, good quality coffee is important, and then a pinch of salt. Now this is one of my favorite spreads. I've got ricotta, a little bit of lemon zest, that sort of acid bite that we get. Pop that in, that smells beautiful. Again, some honey and then I'm gonna add a little bit of lemon juice. When you're juicing, just make sure you don't get any seeds. But the big decision is which spread, coffee and cream cheese or ricotta and lemon, or maybe both.